Hello, good morning everyone. So today we'll be discussing on topic, the last topic in our um, NJ6, and it is called Philippine Indigenous Arts. So we have here a slide share, and I'll be going to share with you. And this is just um, a quick one about Philippine Indigenous Art and what are the music. So from the pictures that we have here, we can now consider this kind of art, which has been in history, in history on, in the Philippines, rather in the Philippines. So it was situated here. So I also have ancient and, and pre-Spanish era. This is on the history of how indigenous, indigenous art has been created. So it's believed that the first inhabitants of the Philippines arrived over many thousands of years ago. It is commonly thought that they migrated over a land bridge which existed at the time from the Asian mainland. So before long ago that, and in our history, it is stated that um, the land that we have in the neighboring countries are just one. So, um, and then throughout the years, because of, yes, of the, uh, the doings of the people, it was then moved, no? And then we have now the, um, 70% uh, of the water that consists of the earth, in the earth rather. So the next known inhabitation is when the Negro, Negrito rather, or Aita, arrived in the island. So th there is a wrong notion when they say um, Negrito or Aita. Hindi lang ang mga Negro. No, mga Negro mo na sila, mga itong. They should be right, the, the right term should be Negrito or Aita. So however, they are dri driven back by several waves of immigrants from Indonesia only to be followed by the maritime peoples of the Malayan island. So we have now um, types of indigenous arts in the Philippines. We have sculpture and carving, pottery, weaving, and physical ornament. So we have, what is sculpture? So sculpture is a three-dimensional artwork created by shaping or combining hard materials, typically stones such as marble, metal, glass, or wood, or plastic materials such as clay, textiles, or polymers, and soft, softer metals. Carving, on the other hand, is one of the techniques used in sculpting. So um, carving is part in the sculpture process. Sculpture now is um, uh, the, the major word, you know, the bigger picture when you say carving. Example, we have Bulul as a carved and little figures of the Ifuka. So this represents their ancestral spirit and renal god. So seated Ifuga Bulul at the conclusion of the annual Ifuga harvest, virtual Bulul's fat placed in rice granaries are considered guardians of the harvest. Uh, yeah. So now we have the word um, rebutos. No? Bulul is the term for the, for the Ifugaos. We have an example for a big sculpture. And we have now, we all know this Sari Manok. So we have heard a lot of you know, sayings about Sari Manok. But what is really Sari Manok? Shown above here, the most well known after all designs, the Sari Manok. So the figure, Sari Manok. So the figure represents a foal with wings, feathered tail, and a head decorated with ornaments of scrolled and painted motif of leaves, these rather spiraled and feather-like forms. The individual will stand on a fish and another one hangs from its beak. So the wooden figure usually perched atop a bamboo pole stands among the decorative flags during weddings and other festive occasions. This is usually used during festive occasions. Mga fiesta kada. And we have another example, a hagabi, isang upu ang kahoy ng mga ipagaw na sumisimbolo sa panlipunang katayuan na isang mamamayan. So if you have this hagabi, you are said to be one of, um, part of the rich people, no, in our society. So ito ay nagpapakita ng mayaman at kapangyarihan ng may-ari nito na kadalasan ay isang Kadanagyan o isang taong nabibilang sa mataas na antas ng lipunan. This kadanagyan. Ito ay kadali, kadahilan ng tanging ang mga mayayaman lamang ang may kakayahang magpagawa nito kasama na ang ritual na ipinagdiriwang sa oras na matapos ang pagbubuo nito. 
because this is believed that it is um mahal no so kung ga pricey ka is yung mong mga yaman daw ang makapalitraan ni or makapahimuan ayun say si Turogan an ancestral home of Baranao Sultan for that one of the richest survivors of Philippine free Spanish art is Maranao, decorative art, and described by critics as graceful and rhythmical. So the four beams of the houses project beyond the walls, and the ends of an along such as a decorative figure, are carved and multicolored. Yeah. This one is the Toroga, which is in this next line. Yeah. So Panalong is a carved end beam of the Toroga. This one is so, Panalong. And the Turogan is the overall home. Uh, an ancestral home, rather. Sorry for that mistaken identity. Pottery, on the other hand, are also the art first shaped by wet clay. So then hardened by baking, pottery includes both decorative and practical items such as bowls, vases, dishes, and lamps. Do you know how to do this pottery, cadets? Or um, do you have any experience about making a pot? Comment down on our comment section. <laughs> and one of the pottery that we have been made here in the Philippines has an, um, various forms and functions. The forms of the pots are directly influenced by the functions of the pots and the traditions of the community or local area. So the design or the style of the pot is um, symmetrical to the local area. Kung sa'yo need nila, anong a place. And we have now for pottery, no? The famous one, palayok. So palayok is used to what? To cook food, no? Cook dishes, no? But still, this is one of the things that is still existing now, no? But yun sila, mas magamit ikag palayok, mas ma magawas na ang flavor sa imong gri luto. And we also have this manunggal jar. So, on the payan sa manunggal ay isang banga na ginagamit sa paglilibing ng mga sinaunang tao sa Palawan noong 890 to 710 BK. Ang banga ay upo sa secondary paglilibing kaya mga buto lamang ng yumao ang laman nila. So, if you see a manunggal jar, it means dira nila store ang mga bones sa namatay nga tao. Yun. And it can also be seen, it will be seen in a 1,000 peso bill. Ayun. Isa itong national treasure of the Philippines, a secondary burial jar. And it can be found, it was found rather in the chamber A of the Tabon Cave, one of the Menangal Caves in Palawan. So not only that um, Palawan is historical for its beautiful scenes, no? Beaches, but also it has caves. Part of our history. And we also have this Leta Leta Cave archaeology. So Leta Leta Cave, Langen Island, El Nidi Palawan, city in Palawan, was excavated in 1965 by Dr. Robert Fox. Robert Fox, rather. Leta Leta Cave is an important burial site belonging to the late Neolithic period. If you still remember the stages of this one, the people that is situating here in the Philippines, the Paleolithic stage, Neolithic stage. So remember that one? Or an assemblage of stone and shell artifacts associated with sophisticated pottery and nephrite edges and axes were recovered. Other materials include stone ornaments and shell pieces. Weaving. Weaving means to make cloth and other objects and threads. Stands and material are passed under and over each other. That's why we have the cloth that we are wearing. You no know, weaving in the Philippines has different forms, functions, and materials. So they also vary in designs and techniques used. Most of the common forms of weaving in the Philippines are in the form of hats, mats, bags, baskets, and textiles, and clothing and blankets, rather. Another form of weaving, we have baskets, we have a hat, and so on, depicted here in the building. A malong bearing of care design. So, if, do you have malong? No, so this is Maranao's 
symmetrical the ornament designs appear. A general term for both the scroll and the geometric form. This one. You know what's geometric and scrolls and geometric forms. Occur designs. So we have occur designs for men and occur designs for uh for women. So occur adato, this is for the normal design. The scroll is dominant features in the men's were composed of various spiral forms. But for girls, we have zigzags and angular forms. This one is an example of how to use manual. And this one also example. Example for the necklace that they have. And the earrings used for the costumes that they have. And this one also. So all the uh, bobots that they have here, they came from Ithigao. And this one, traditional Filipino tattoo. A trivia that we have, we have Ma Wang Od, who is the oldest tattoo artist, can be found in Ithigao. And these were just costumes. We tackled last time about the costumes and the dishes of the Philippines from different um, places, from Tagalog, Visayan, and so on. This is for Kali. This is just a recap of what we discussed last time. And we have a question that we posted here as a sort of comment on our YouTube video, we have the question, how does the Philippine folk indigenous art reflect nature and the life of the common folk? Comment your answer on the comment section. Thank you.